is the angry dad and before we get into today's podcast i'd like to thank my podcast sponsors pit boss grills pit boss bringing back the heat to the barbecue market bigger hotter heavier grills ch concrete serving the san francisco Bay Area. that is ch concrete serving the san francisco Bay Area. no job too big no job too small residential commercial does not matter ch concrete can help you just mention angry dad and they'll take care of you jags jags is a fully stocked preferred destination spot for every professional Racer, weekend warrior, gearhead, restoration up, people who want to take their vehicle to the next level. 511 Tactical, purpose built clothing, footwear, bags, tactical gear for life's most demanding missions. Official, official clothing, hip hop is our life, streetwear is our passion. We are official. Live by your own rules. Sundays, look, get your lawn looking mean, green, and very green at sundays.com. Get hooked up, use these links. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. You know, there's a lot of things in our lives that we unconscious, uh, subconsciously was what I should say. Subconsciously, what we do is we sabotage our progression. We sab- we sabotage our lives. We we do sometimes we do things unknowingly, and the reason we do it is because there's a lot of times things are uncomfortable. There's a lot of things that are uncomfortable about life. There's a lot of things that are uncomfortable about things that we need to do in our life. There's a lot of things that are uncomfortable with the way we want to handle our life. Look, we all want what's best for ourselves. We all want to do better. We all want to like really push ourselves to be healthier, to be smarter, to be more well-read, to to just excel at everything we do. But the thing is, is we slip into the these moments and times where we want to be comfortable. We want to be relaxed. We're overworked. We're we're exhausted. We're tired. And that's what hurts us. Because like I said, it doesn't take much to do nothing. But to to increase your life, to make your life better, to make things better, what ends up really happening is you have to put in the work. You have to do these things. You have to put in an uncomfortable position with the truth and in reality of what the fuck's going on in your life. You know, how many times have a lot of us been like, I need to eat better. I need to be better. But guess what? It's so much easier to just, be like, I deserve this. I'm going to eat this. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't want to cook. I, I don't want to put any effort into my life because that's what ends up really happening. We, we sabotage ourselves in these ways because we want to be lazy. It is easier to be lazy. It is easier to not do nothing. All right. Taking an extra 10, 15 minutes, even 30 minutes to make yourself a meal, a home cooked meal with better ingredients than going out to a restaurant, because a lot of us don't even realize that, you know, when you go to these restaurants, and when I mean restaurants, I'm talking about you go to a drive through almost anything that you go through a drive through and you get a meal, that meal itself is almost, a, say, 15 to 2,000 calories, your total intake for food. In most places, most fast food restaurants, that's real fucking talk. You've just eaten your daily allotted, because like I said, the there, everyone eats a certain amount of calories difference, everybody per body, but the standard American diet, the standard calorie intake on anything, the way everything is calculated is 2000 calories a day. And, and for the majority of it, if you go to any fast food restaurant, burger, fries, soda, look, 15 to 2000 calories, roughly. All right. And that's just what they can tell you. All right. It could be more. We don't know. Do you really know? Do you even look at the fucking things? All right. A standard McDonald's meal. All right. Is almost 2000 fucking calories. Think about that fucking shit. All right. It doesn't seem like much food, but it's because it's not. But it's heavily processed food. When we could have went to the house, saved so much fucking money because you're going to spend 20 fucking bucks going to any kind of fucking fast food place. That's just what it is. All right. That, that That's the average now is 20 fucking dollars. All right. And that's if you don't get anything fucking extra, just something for yourself. But you could have saved that much money, that much more money and made yourself some food that was healthier, better for you and prepared for you, prepared by yourself. You know what I'm saying? And and it, it it's a lot more. It tastes better. You appreciate it fucking more. And you know what? It's good for you. But a lot of us will choose that easy fucking path. 
because we're exhausted, because we're tired. And there's going to be those moments and times where it's like, yes, I get it. I understand. But it's more of being in the habit of taking care of your fucking self and doing what's right. Because if you eat shitty food, you're going to feel shitty. How many of us have eaten McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, whatever, and then felt fucking miserable, felt depressed, felt unfulfilled, felt disgusting? Because you just eaten something that you know you're not supposed to eat that was greasy as fuck and not fucking healthy. That's what I'm fucking saying. I do it. Everyone else does it. But the thing is, is we need to understand, you know, there's a time and a place for all that fucking shit. But it's something that we can't do on a daily basis because there's a lot of people out there that live off of fast food. And they're sabotaging themselves. They want to eat better. They want to be better. And I'm only using this as a metaphor because I'm trying to tell you guys something in real fucking time. To be better, you have to put in the effort towards yourself, all right? You have to see where you're lacking. You have to see where things are falling. You got to see where you're you're not doing what you're supposed to be fucking doing. And which that is, is taking care of your fucking self. Putting in the fucking effort. And not just fucking falling to the side of like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, Monday, Tuesday, tomorrow. All right, get up, fucking do that fucking laundry. Clean your fucking house. Pick up that fucking stuff. You know what I'm saying? Go fucking shopping. All right. You know, there's there so many different things in your life that you can do that are just small, easy tweaks that can really set the pattern in the tone of your day, of your life, and what the fuck is going on with yourself. My ultimate goal is to always have everybody, not always, but having people feel better, be better, have more fucking confidence in themselves, be wanting to change. All right. Wanting to fucking grow, wanting to be better, but it's seeing past all the other shit that is stopping you and holding you fucking back because that is real fucking talk that is real fucking truth that's the shit that fucks you up and if you want to fucking do better you have to see these things you have to fucking open up your fucking eyes and realize that you need to confront these things and it feels uncomfortable it fucking sucks To fucking think that, oh, I should have been doing this and I haven't been doing this. And then you fucking forget about it and then you just blow past it and then never fucking do anything about it. I want you to really fucking look in the fucking mirror, look into your fucking self and realize what you need to fucking do to be fucking better. All right. Don't be fucking scared of fucking change. Don't be scared to do something different. Don't be scared to fucking grow. Please listen to what I'm fucking saying because this is real fucking truth. This shit is fucking crazy. It only takes so much to fucking change your fucking path. And all that is, is you growing and changing and fucking willing to fucking be the person you want to fucking be. Be the person you deserve to fucking be. Be the person that you want to be in your fucking life. And you can do that. You can do that. All right. And it all starts with you really fucking taking a fucking hard look and understanding what you need to fucking do to be fucking better, to change your fucking life, to do the things that you really want to fucking do to fucking be the best you. All right. I'm not, I never try to say any of this stuff to put people fucking down. But what I want people to do is to open their fucking eyes, open their fucking ears and listen to what the fuck I'm saying. Pay the fuck attention to what the fuck is going on in your fucking life and what you need to do to change, to grow, to be better. Because that's the fucking truth. That's the hard fucking truth. You need to look deep inside and understand what you need to fucking do for your fucking self. Don't be fucking scared to put in the fucking work. Don't be fucking scared to fucking try. All right? Because there's going to be a lot of failure in those tries. But those failures will eventually turn into wins because you've gotten better at what you need to fucking do. That's how it always fucking goes. That's how it fucking is. Please understand that fucking shit. So guess the fuck what? I'm the angry motherfucking dad. You want to watch my shit on YouTube? You want us to do it? Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, SoundCloud, Deezer, iHeartRadio. This motherfucker's everywhere. You can easily fucking find it. Rate, review, like, subscribe, all that fucking bullshit. Uh, use all my fucking links. It really helps me out. I'm also part of the Inner Circle Podcast Network, group of powerful podcasters out there sharing their shit. That is innercirclepn.com. Take it to everyone on our websites, every one of our shows. We have shows as Creatures of the Night, The Hood Diner, The Untrained Eye, The Plunge, Failing Hollywood, Simmons and More Podcast. Shit happens when you fucking party naked on Patreon. So make sure you'll check it the fuck out at Team Almy. And I'll see y'all motherfuckers on the next one. Bye.
Always living. Always living. Always living. Always living. Always living.